Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. Right. Okay. Let me officially start this. So <laughs> my name is Rumi Thakur and uh, I am from the Like a Radio Network, which is the largest radio network in the UK. Okay. So Hello. I want to... I want to officially welcome you and it's an honor to have you as a guest as we talk about your new movie Ira. Ira? Thank you so much. Is that the right pronunciation Ira? Ira is the way it's pronounced. Yes, I'll tell you how and why as we proceed. Lovely, brilliant. Thank you. So yes, maine trailer dekhi hai and um it's a very fast paced uh, you know sleek trailer that's what i thought or very <clears throat> well made lag rahi hai very well made movie lag rahi hai and you talk about so many things you're talking about uh, digital immortalization and virtual and then um, bahut kuch ho raha hai aapka clone ho gaya everyone's after you so too many things happening to maine socha mera pehla question ye hoga jo dc dhananjay ne pucha hai ki bhai aira cheez kya hai what is aira <laughs> so Ira as the trailer suggests is an immortality app uh, right my character in the film is called Hari Singh uh, Hari Singh is the creator of this app okay agar aap hari ko ulta kar dete ho to uska mirror image banta hai Ira right so now you okay. understand why it is Ira and uh, yeah. that's what he's all about he he believes in uh, not just cloning but he believes in keeping uh various layers of a human being alive whether the human being is actually alive or not and he believes in immortality and knowing full well that we cannot be there all the time you know after a few years he wants to make yeah. sure that he is remembered uh, till time immemorial and uh, that's basically the idea of the film the backdrop of the film is about artificial intelligence and hari singh who's the owner of elemon he's the one who's created this ai this app that's ira and that in a nutshell is the the film is got like you said it's got a lot of everything a lot of people asked me over the last a uh, week that you know itna slick trailer hai itna vfx hai there's so much to look forward to what's your take yes. on the film my take on the film is very simple it's a well rounded film it's uh, of course it's shot in britain it's shot in uk but uh, it's oh, got it? uh, an indian indian soul right. you know okay. it's, it's a typical masala bollywood movie uh it's got song and dance it's got romance it's got drama of course it's got a lot of action and above all it's got world class vfx which is what i'm looking yes. forward to kind of you know uh seeing yes. how the audience likes it i think it is uh, i think the audiences are going to like it and as you know obviously you've just told me that it is shot in london and uh, you know we have got such a big population of south indian uh, you know so right. i think i think people i think i can't wait it is actually looking really good ek cheez aur puchna chahti hu aur wo ye hai ki obviously um, you know sci fi thriller aapne choose kiya hai and uh, was it the only thing that actually attracted you kyunki aur thoda sa negative shade hai kya your character has it got a little bit of negative shade that's why i thought i uh, you know i don't want to talk about my character okay. just yet in terms of uh, shade because Absolutely. it's got millions of she is a very layered character बहुत कम ऐसे कैरेक्टर्स प्ले करने को मिलते हैं वो भी ऐसी बड़ी फिल्म में अबाउट व्हाट एंड व्हाई माय कैरेक्टर डज अ फ्यू थिंग्स यू हैव टू सी द फिल्म टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई एंड आई ऑलवेज बिलीव यू नो नोबडी इज रियली कंप्लीटली ब्लैक और कंप्लीटली व्हाइट वी आर ऑल ग्रे एवरीबडी इन दिस वर्ल्ड इज ग्रे द मोमेंट यू बिकम व्हाइट यू बिकम अ सेंट एंड सो सेम विथ हरी हरी बिलीव इन अ फ्यू थिंग्स and when you mm -hmm. really go all out in trying to achieve the things that you believe in you might mm -hmm. step on a few toes so for those people you become black you know yeah. uh so like i said he he lives in the realm of gray uh that's what his belief in life is that you know everybody is not black or white and uh, what he's really done is trying to help people keep their loved ones with them uh mm -hmm. throughout their lifetime but yes. uh to see how it backfires you have to watch aira <laughs> uh, that's the ai isn't it yeah if you give everything mm -hmm. in their hands they they do backfire don't they so yeah, yeah right. they do okay lovely that's that's uh, wonderful thank you so much um ye i just wanted to ask obviously you know uh, aap uh, aapne aisi app banayi hai ki kisi bahut hi close ko you want to obviously immortalize them to kaun hai 
आपकी जिंदगी में जिसको आप अपने पास रखना चाहते हैं हमेशा मेरे मेरी जिंदगी में ऐसे कई लोग हैं जिसे मैं हमेशा के लिए पास रखना चाहता हूँ मेरी पत्नी है मेरी बेटी है मेरी माँ है मेरे बड़े भाई साहब हैं उनके परिवार वाले हैं मेरे ब्रदर इन लॉ हैं उनके परिवार वाले हैं और कुछ चुनिंदा दोस्त हैं जिनके बगैर मेरी जिंदगी चलती नहीं है तो इन रियल लाइफ यू नो यू कैन पिक वन आई मीन यू नो देर नो ऑर्डर बट यस आई लाइक टू इमोटलाइज my family oh, so no, that uh, they're always around me come what may uh, but this also poses a danger of uh, too much uh, you know it can play on you psychologically one part yes. of you tells you that they are not there anymore so you should respect those uh, people uh, and the other side says no i want my mummy i want my mother to be by my side all my life i am a mama's boy so for me if i could there was some way i could have my mother all the time around me i would pick that But oh, it comes with so a nice. lot of rewards. It does, it does, and you know, it's almost <clears throat> going against nature, which is, it is which is always has a bit of a you know negative effect. Brilliant. Okay, so I am your fan. No, when you were in Abhiman, I loved your performance in Shootout at uh, Local Bala. So absolutely brilliant ones, brilliant. So I just wanted to ask you, ki you know, jo itne itne talent. Uh, you know you've always captivated the audiences with your talent your style to aage ka kya future hai aise alag alag roles is that what you want to choose maine uh, you know from the very beginning of my career where i started with television uh, i've always believed in uh, quality over quantity uh, mm-hmm. if you've seen and followed my career even remotely you'd know that i don't jump into anything and everything that's offered to me a lot of people keep complaining about this that why the hell are you so exclusive that you know uh, we don't see you more often on the screen and while they are right they are right and i realize you know when you cross 40 you start realizing that maybe in your 30s you should have done a lot more than you actually ended up doing but you can't i've never been a planner i've never planned my career i do what uh, i pick the best that is offered to me something that drives me very early on my career i had decided that i will not do television or ott or cinema if my character doesn't drive the film and if my okay. character the character okay. doesn't take it forward there is really no point you know if you're a bystander mm. in the film so whichever yes. movies whichever films whichever television shows i have done otts uh, i have always made sure that my you know my character might not be the central lead like in ira i am mm. lucky that i got the central lead and i am the guy who's doing everything in the film uh yeah. i'm there from frame 1 to frame last but uh, that's not the reason i did aira i did aira because it attracted me as a package a mm-hmm. it was being shot overseas uh, b mm-hmm. the entire experience of working with people who you've never met in your life who are absolutely new to you the system is new the way they work is very different from us you know, that in itself was uh, you know a, a box that i wanted to take uh the film is very interesting on various levels of human psychology uh that's something that also drives me you know i love human interest movies uh so that was also another box which was picked and above all i was playing the central lead in a film where my character name is the title of the movie very few yeah. people uh in my stage get to play these kind of roles and and in a film like this so uh to answer your question ye sari cheeze main sochta nahi hu zyada main karta hu people consider you know it, it really kind of uh, I don't think of this uh, when you and a journalist like you or people who I'm talking to bring this up about my versatility and about my different myriad different roles. That's the only time I really think. अरे हाँ यार shoot out अलग थी, काफी अलग थी, Mumbai या Saga अलग थी, forensic अलग थी. लेकिन मैंने इस वजह से वो फिल्म में नहीं किया. I did those okay. films because I had a great character in each of them, and the character was driving the movie. You know, right. so uh, okay. like when I did Kabil also, I mean it was an out and out negative. That was an amazing career. Yeah, but if yeah. my character wasn't there in the movie, there was no Kabil. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So that should answer your question. Absolutely. But it's not something that okay. I kind of dwell on too much. Okay, so but uh, you know, as as uh, long as you get those meaty roles, the ones which drive the movie, you're going to continue doing it. Brilliant. Yes. Thank you so much. One question I wanted to ask, and obviously you've already replied. working in and obviously you know all the whole of the movie was shot in london so working with right. um, uh, british actors or uh, british indian actors was it fine was it seamless how was it 
so when i landed the first day i was kind of i you know on uh, not not tenter hooks but i had a few butterflies in my stomach because whenever you kind of land up in a, a foreign surrounding um you're kind of wondering whether you'll gel with them whether you'll meld in into that crowd because you have to break the ice and actually enter the arena right but i have to say with sam my director he and his crew was so welcoming so oh. so welcoming from day one from my first shot that i felt that you know i belonged here uh oh. the crew was 99% uh, english they were all british people with the, my dop is australian but he's also settled in london for the last 20 odd years uh okay. everybody was around 25 26 so the energy was amazing uh so efficient never did oh. i feel like an outsider because i also think very fast i you know i i i do my homework before i go on the set i know my lines i know my my co actors lines and i'm very quick when i'm thinking and performing and i found that it was uh, resonating with them as well they were very impressed with the way i had come totally prepared in fact a very nice story if i may share with your uh, viewers please do is that please after, do. Yeah. I, you know there's a shot if you realize in the trailer i'm tied up and i'm trying yes. to break free and yes. i was all cut up and there was suit on my face and there was a scar uh, you know put uh, by my makeup artist of course and uh, the dop goes to my director and says sam in my 20 years of being a, a director of photography i have never worked with such a beautiful man before oh and he didn't tell me he told sam and sam came and told me during lunch that you know my my dop was saying this and that made me feel good it's not only about vanity it's about feeling That's welcome just... and feeling comfortable and yeah. they would be very comfortable so it was it was a great experience and i'm not doing this interview which prompts me to say these things it's just something yeah. i felt <clears throat> that's wonderful that's that's what i wanted to hear actually because obviously we're here and you know our love for bollywood movies obviously Absolutely. everyone knows so yeah. <laughs> no that's wonderful thank you so much last question and last yeah. question is what is i mean obviously you've you've answered a lot of my questions one last thing is what do you want to say to our audience what should they uh, you know what is the one thing they should really look forward to for this movie i mean obviously first, you've you've first answered thing, i will say that this is the shortest interview i've ever done in my life <laughs> uh, what do i want to tell your audience is that you know we've uh, like everybody else we worked really hard on this film it is a film um which is it is just something for everybody in it if you if you're a so when you started saying that there are lots of south east asian people there but you know this is a film which is pan world it's it's got emotions it's got drama it's it's uh, it's in english in hindi it's mattering of hindi um it's got everything so i think when you go to a theater you want entertainment you know that's really we're not trying to uh, talk about the only the merits and demerits of uh, artificial intelligence we are trying to give you an entire thali an indian thali there's romance there's drama there's uh, emotions <laughs> there's action there's singing there's beautiful women there's a good looking man uh, so yes. just go see the film and enjoy the film for what it is and uh, if you take something home with you uh, there'll be an added bonus for all of us who worked on aira wow that's wonderful lovely brilliant thank you so much for your time i could just go on and on but obviously i've been told <laughs> it shouldn't exceed more than 8 9 minutes thank <laughs> so you so much thank you and please yeah, go and watch the movie And let me know in our next interview Can't what wait. you genuinely felt. I will definitely. Thank you so much, Roy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of uh, good luck.